you know, I haven't really had a chance to look at it more specifically in terms of, uh, you know, anything that was different mechanically for him. It, it just seemed like he uh, was really, really struggling to try to get the ball where he wanted to. Was losing a lot of pitches arm side, both the fastball and the breaking ball. Um, trying to let him, you know, find it a little bit, but. You know, after three innings, getting off the field on a, hard, a sharply hit ball there at the end of the third, uh, I, I just, I, I just didn't think it was going to be there. So we went ahead and made the change. So yeah, you know, it's one of those things that just kind of understand the. He's we talk about him being young a lot, and he's going to go through some of those starts where it's not going to be there. And and today was one of those days where he had a tough time. It seemed like yesterday your team fed off the quality start by yeah. Orderizi. How much did it affect them to be down early in this game, you think? Well, you know, I don't think too much early. I mean, you know, you give up you know, runs in each of the first four innings, and, and it gets a little bit higher in terms of the, you know, your ability to think about making a comeback. Um, and their guy pitched well. We, you know, we didn't have hardly anything going. I saw we had a couple hits on the board, you know, until at least middle to late stages of the game before we started getting a few more. So... Yeah, um, you know, playing from behind shouldn't be that big a deal uh, early in the game. But once it started getting extended, it, got, it became you know more difficult for sure. Paul, do you think it's anything physical with Jose? No, I think he's fine. Getting uh, even five innings out of your starters has become a chore. What does that do to the rest of the, the pitching staff, the team in general, when that happens so repeatedly? Well, I, you know, there's. I'm not sure about the psychological effect. I know that it takes a physical toll. Just the amount of innings we've had to make some uh, moves along the way to try to, you know, keep us uh, uh, have, just have enough pitching. So, you know, I'm not sure what if anything's going to transpire before tomorrow. But we're going to talk about options that we might have. What did you think of McGill? I thought he threw the ball well. He gave up three hits. I think he gave up the broken bat, first hitter, and then a couple. Fairly weakly hit balls through the right side of the infield, and that was about it. How much of a problem was it that, uh, or how much would have changed, I guess, if some of those uh, double play grounders, there are some of them slow, but uh, had been turned into double plays? Uh, yeah, you know, I think we had a couple of chances there. You know, exchanges weren't particularly clean, both from the original throw to the transfers. Um, they weren't. They weren't. You know. The old Taylor made automatics. You know, they needed a little execution there, but it, they they weren't particularly clean. Paul, you've been in since now. You did this morning about uh, Miguel's availability this next series. Uh, I, I know it still bothered him a little bit to run, and uh, I think he's feeling a little bit uh, rotationally, maybe when he's swinging a little bit. So you know. I'm optimistic. I, I know that he wants to play, but we're going to have to be smart about how quickly we try to get him back out there. Whether tomorrow's an option or not, you know, we'll, we'll take the time that we have and see how he feels tomorrow when he comes in. What did you see from uh, Buxton? Uh, the testing. I didn't see anything from Buxton before the game, so I wasn't out there. I haven't heard what he what he was able to do.